and welcome to Jamie DeRoy and Friends. I'm Jamie DeRoy. And I'm Barry Kleinbord. This week we start off with The Shark is Broken. It's going to wrap up its run on November 19th and it's not to be missed. It's written by Ian Shaw and Joseph Nixon and directed by Guy Masterson. And it's about the making of the movie Jaws. And in fact, Ian Shaw plays his father, Robert Shaw. And Alex Brightman plays Richard Dreyfuss. Richard Dreyfuss. And Colin plays Roy Scheider. It's really quite the romp about this broken mechanical shark that never seemed to work. And they're stuck on this boat. It's really fun. Say, what do you think of Steve? Oh, well, <laughs> the first thing is that I think people underestimate him. You know, I, I, he's, he may be just a kid, but he's, you know, he's uh, an old head on young shoulders. Having said that, I think he may be clinically insane. <laughs> really? Yes, he's shooting on the ocean, man. Nobody shoots on the ocean. You know, you know how many water tanks Universal has? I mean, you, you know what it's like, man. You, you, you work your butt off all day. You're at the mercy of nature. Wind, rain, tides, sun, overexposure to all of them. Jews should stay away from water. <laughs> Nothing good ever happened to any Jew on the water. Didn't Jesus walk on water? <laughs> yeah. And look what happened to him. <laughs> I wonder if this is going to be the one that breaks me, you know? Makes me a big shot. I, I, I thought it was Duddy Kravitz, but maybe it's this one. He is hoping. Don't fucking count your chickens. This thing hasn't been edited yet. You may well end up on the cutting room floor. <laughs> yeah, right. Like they're going to cut out the star. Oh, star. <laughs> yes. Nice. Yes, with the caveat that you both are great, and I mean really great supporting players. Uh, Let's okay. be honest Two here. things. I... First of all, technically speaking, Brody is the hero of this film. And, I and secondly... Get... I don't know, maybe there isn't a star. I mean, like, it's like I said before, maybe this is a new kind of movie. Who gets top billing? Where the hell did this come from? My agent, John Gaines, it's all been approved. Oh my God, you fucked us. Your name is higher and it's in the middle. Well, yes, but I am lower down and on the left where people look next, or maybe even first. No, no. Well, I'm lower down and on the fucking right where it's only good in countries where they read from right to left. Oh, great, I'm a star in the Middle East. My agent has screwed me again. Fuck. What do you think it's about? What? This movie, this fucking movie. It's gotta be about something. Everything is about something. I think it's about the subconscious. Come again? Sharks are these ancient primal creatures, so they represent all the primal fears in all of us. All the terrors and desires that we keep hidden. All the Freudian crap that my therapist's always talking about. That's the shark. You don't agree. It's an interesting theory. Okay, well what do you think it's about? I think it's about responsibility. And when the government puts profit before people, if you can't get rid of the bastards, you gotta take care of the mess yourself. Even if it scares you for the good of the community. Wow. Oh, deep. What about you, Robert? What do you think it's about? It's about a shock. <laughs> yes, but what's it really about? It's really about a shock. Don't bring me more into it. It's a thriller, a machine for making money. Do you really think they're going to be talking about this in 50 years? That busy playwright, Teresa Rebeck, has a new play, and it's called I Need That, and it's directed by Moritz von Stolpnagel. And it's playing at the American Airlines Theater through December 23rd. It stars Danny DeVito, his daughter Lucy DeVito, and Ray Anthony Thomas. The play is about a hoarder. I can relate to that. Gutenberg the Musical has just opened at the James Earl Jones Theater. It stars Josh Gad and Andrew Reynolds, and it's directed by Alex Timbers. The book, music, and lyrics are by Anthony King and Scott Brown, and I would say this is sort of a reunion for Josh Gad and Andrew Reynolds because they both met and performed in the Book of Mormon. And they have such an incredible relationship. It is such a joy to watch them together on stage. You're gonna laugh your head off at Gutenberg the Musical. 
Andrew Randles and Josh Gad are back on Broadway. Randles and Gad, I mean. You know. The way that Josh insists on working in the total nude is it, it, but, brilliant. But it's, it is pretty remarkable. I look at Andrew like a Pacino, like a De Niro. Daniel Day-Lewis. Their acting is directing me. They are so method that they are butt and dug all the time. Oh, animal noises. Once weapons were introduced, though, I had called equity. To be honest, it's hard not to get intimidated. You take the glass. Is you take my soul. <laughs> we had these guys on the show the other night, and I said, I heard that people are saying it's the Hamilton of its generation, and Josh Gad said, that's what I'm saying. They're both very, very, very gifted actors. They're, they're next level. There's nobody that, I mean, no, yeah. it's them, and then there's everyone else. Yeah. And it'll change the face of American theater. What are people saying about us? Yet? Are they pleasant? Positive. Positive? Love that show! Love it! And we're awesome. I'm very curious as to what people are saying about Andrew in particular. I will follow Andrew Rannells till the ends of the earth. Josh made a lot of mistakes tonight. Has that been mentioned? Josh Gad is the voice of this generation. I have long since said that Josh Gad is the Meryl Streep of Broadway. Come here in Broadway and watch Gutenberg because it's absolutely, absolutely amazing. They're just two really adorable guys. Well, we've had a Broadway revival of Funny Girl, the musical that made a star of Barbara Streisand. But before she did Funny Girl on Broadway, she did another Broadway musical called I Can Get It For You Wholesale. And the CSC is doing a production off Broadway. The book is by Jerome Weidman, although it is being revised by his son, John. And the music and lyrics are by Harold Rome. It's directed by Trip Coleman. And it stars Santino Fontana. I Can Get It For You Wholesale is playing down at the Classic Stage Company through December 3rd. Over at New World Stages through January 7th is Dracula, a comedy of terrors. It's co-written by Gordon Greenberg and Steve Rosen, and it's directed by Gordon Greenberg. In the cast are Arnie Burton, Andrew Keenan Bolger, and Ellen Harvey, among others. Here is a look at Dracula. The Comedy of Terrors. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Count Dracula. <laughs> I am not afraid to talk about myself. Oh, well, isn't that a refreshing quality in a man? <laughs> well, that wasn't terrible. <laughs> oh, gee, thanks. <laughs> Now, if you'll excuse me, I got to fly. <laughs> Has anyone ever told you that you have beautiful veins? Why, no, no, they haven't. They usually just comment on my thick fingers or extra tooth. <clears throat> I was talking about the varicose veins in your neck. Oh, my neck, oh, what fresh and compliment. The way it curves gently, pitching it at just the right angle to show off your exquisite jugular. <laughs> You're not like all the other men in Whitby, are you? Transylvania is very far from here. Simply put, I'm a stranger in a strange land. Funny, I've always felt that way myself. Well, of course you have. All of us are alone, aren't we? Craving momentary comfort in the arms of one who will hold you tight, caress your face, and take complete control of you. You want to get out of here? My place is just across town. Great! I'll grab a bottle. Don't bother. I'm thirsty for something else. On Monday, November 13th, is a very special day because the York Theatre Gala takes place and they are presenting the 2023 Oscar Hammerstein Award for Outstanding Achievement to none other than Patti LuPone. Well, they're also presenting another award that evening. They're presenting the 2023 Founders Award to a certain 
Jamie DeRoy, and it's well-deserved, by the way. Thank you. But the evening is going to be very, very special, so if you can make it, come to the Edison rooftop. And now for our cabaret roundup. Starting with 54 Below, Melissa Errico brings her show to the club from November 1st to the 4th. It's called Broadway Baby, from Manhasset to Manhattan and beyond. Here is a look at Melissa Errico from a former Jamie DeRoy and Friends way back at the Metropolitan Room. I'd like to finish tonight with a, uh, with a lovely Irish song written by uh, two left-wing Jewish songwriters. <laughs> I hear a bird, a glockamore a bird. It well may be it's bringing me a cheer. Also at 54 Below, Stephen Brinberg brings his show, which is a 40th anniversary of the film Yentl, on November 8th. Francis Raffel and Norman Bowman bring Frankie and Bosey to the club on November 10th and 11th. John Lloyd Young brings his show, John Lloyd Young's Broadway, to the room November 15th to 18th.
Come a Little Closer, appears at the club on November 21st. Lilius White brings her show, Lilius White Blissfully Thankful, to the room November 22nd to the 25th. Brandon Victor Dixon, Soul of Broadway, appears at the club on December 4th. Brandon was a guest with us in the past on Jamie DeRoy and Friends, so here is a look at the incredible Brandon Victor Dixon. Go out and tell our story Let it echo far and wide Make them hear you Make them hear you How justice was our battle And how justice was denied Make them hear you Make them hear you and say to those who blame us for the way we chose to fight that sometimes there are battles which are more than black or white. And I could not put down my sword when justice was my right. Make them hear you. Go out and tell our story to your daughters and your sons. Make them hear you. Make them hear you. And tell them in our struggle we were not the only ones. Make them hear you. Make them hear you. Your sword can be the pulpit or the power of the pen. Teach every child to raise his voice and then my brothers then. Will justice be demanded by 10 million righteous men? Make them hear you when they hear show to the 92nd Street Y on November 18th. Herb Alpert and Lanny Hall bring their show to the Carlisle November 14th to the 25th. Steve Tyrell brings his show to the Cafe Carlisle from October 31st through November 8th. Do you see this guy this guy's in love with you Yes, I'm in love Who looks at you the way I do When you smile I can't tell We know each other very well how can I show you I'm glad I got to know you Cause I've heard some talk They say you think I'm fine 
disguise in love and what Tell me now, is it so? Don't let me be the last to know my hands. I shake it. Don't let my heart keep breaking, cause I want your love. Just Wish on the Moon is an animated short that we did with animator and director Candy Kubo. The lyrics were by Barry Kleinbord and Jamie DeRoy and the music by Shelley Markham. Here is a look at this award-winning animated short. Wish on the Moon. When I was a child I'd spend a moment each night I'd wish on the moon With all of my might Moon, I know that life has its own special plan But help me to grow as soon as you can Oh, how I long to be as old as you And do the things that grown people do the moon never answered, so I filled the hours Riding my bike or admiring the flowers Run to the movies or talk on the phone And at night make a wish to let me be grown Wishes came and wishes went And time trundled by Sighed to the moon, but got no reply. And soon my days became a blur of so many things from playing with dolls to swinging on swings, studying spelling or trips to the zoo, sitting and thinking of new things to do, dressing for parties or singing in choir. Cold wintry evenings in front of the fire Mittens and mufflers and men made of snow And a moon full of wishes to please help me grow And so, without knowing the moments have flown now an adult with a child of my own And when I look at her smile I can see me then Now I wish on the moon To make me a child Again. To close out this edition of Jamie DeRoy and Friends, we have the announcement of a Broadway closing. On December 30th, Some Like It Hot will 
be hot for what its last time. A wonderful show with book by Matthew Lopez and Amber Ruffin. And music and lyrics by Scott Whitman and Mark Shaman. And directed by the wonderful Casey Nicolau. Here is a look at Some Like It Hot. I hope you like your Broadway hot. We can't stay here. Chicago's too hot. You're right. Search every band, every dance hall from here to Timbuktu. 